and with Jacksonville. Nunez, and that finds the side of the net. And we are tied at one apiece in the 58. us up. Just had the clearance, found the side of the net. Similar wall than a time ago. Toy will not take this one. Nunez looking for the brace, off the bar, and it's cleaned up. Back of the net. It's 2-1. Mingo. And the goal goes to number 15, Sean. Kisses off the bar, and nobody from OCB is there to clear it. Off the bar, ball's laying around. On a come smart, can he track this down? He can. Good hustle by Don Smart. Another chance to cross with his right foot. Towards the back post, and it's smuggled in by Paulo Jr., the first home goal in forward Madison history. for the Flamingos, and this was all about Don Smart with the hustle, elevated across the back post. Madison Sewell couldn't get to it, and he needs to do it. Junior coming in centrally. It's by Ovaje. It's a great looking ball. Could Don Smart track this down? He can. Smart, cutting back onto his right foot. There's a chance, and it's 2-1. It's Carter Manley, the fullback. Don Smart has set up both goals. Ford Madison lead 2-1. Great ball for Paulo Jr. I thought Don Smart was going to cut this back onto his left. He cut it back onto his right, and that it. Here's Nunez. Nunez goes to Paulo Jr. Paulo Jr. into the penalty area. Paulo Jr. tapped in by Don Smart, and that will be that. Don Smart gets a goal to go with his two assists. Paulo Jr. gets an assist to go with his goal, and that was the last kick of the game, and Ford Madison can celebrate a well-earned first victory at Bree Stevens Field. It adds an extra And it gets snow plows out on ATVs to clear the pitch, which eventually did play as J.C. Banks tries to win the ball off of Bennett. Bennett will leave it for Brandon Eaton. His strike will go all the way in, and Brandon Eaton has the first goal of U.S. Open Cup for Ford Madison. Good strike from Brandon Eaton. He's tried a couple of times and not been successful. Eventually, his strike hits the back of the net. He played to him, set up there, and he hits it first time. Was the goalkeeper, yeah, maybe was a deflection. Maybe the keeper was unsighted because he seemed to be going in a different direction. Just managed to win the ball back, and now Banks. In charge on his way, sliding the ball on the path to Smart. It's a good ball indeed. Across towards Toyama! Second goal for forward Madison. Absolutely no chance here at all, but JC Banks initially starts it off. There's a final ball in there from Dunsmart. Ball over the top. Mangles well off his line. Not sure what he's doing. Open goal for now. Chipped in there. Smart's on the back end, off the post and in. Gets That's the ball a right back just like that. And looking to find another. Nunez a chance, deflected by Fola. Right back to Nunez. He puts it in. Two straight for Madison on the road. They're up 2-1 in just a matter of seconds. And the Red Wolves just hanging their heads after that. Lucky hop off the deflection. Fola stepping up, but no one coming. You can see El Paso and Coach Lowry knows the threat that forward brings on the road. Ball clipped in. Over the top, the first chance of the game, and forward Madison FC takes a 1-0 lead on the road in the Open Cup. And this is a great little run by Paulo Jr. to get in line and then just clips this one in. Looks like it could have been a handball, but it comes off the chest of Toyama. Fantastic. All he has to do is redirect it. There's enough for Nishad. He cuts by the first man. He's got numbers around him. Toyama looking for his second goal. Puts it on a plate, and it's 2-0. Good run here by Mashad. Dishes off, and then this is a terrific little ball. Waited over the back line there, and then opts to cross this one. And then El Paso, last thing you want to do is get in yellow card trouble or, or even get a red card, and you're facing a, trying to scramble and get back into this game playing down a man. 
beautiful interchange once again. Forward Madison FC breaks through. And what a goal. The flock is flying from Madison to Texas, blowing out USL Championship opposition in El Paso. And you've got to think this is the one that puts this game away. Coming. The draw was the first one of the season for North Texas there on Saturday. Here's Bariga Toyama now in the box for Don Smart at the back post, and Madison have pulled one back. Toyama to Don Smart, and there's the moment Madison was looking for. They have gotten at least one back so far. To look here at the Advocare replay. Toyama to Smart, almost out of his reach. He's able to just. This time I beat is there, but he didn't quite come off for Cicerone. And now it's going to come through kindly here for Don Smart. Poorly played there by Kavita. Here's Don Smart. Don Smart! Incredibly well taken. We featured him in the pre-match buildup. And Don Smart has a goal. And back in it. St. Louis 2, Madison 1. What a great strike from there. He just lines it up. You think he's going to... Diaz feeling pressure from Souza. Diaz sliding it into the middle. One touch by Leonard. One touching it down the pitch. Good ball movement. And that's going to find the back of the net. 88th minute. And that ball finds the back of the net, sending it forward. Bement picking it up and just left footing it, chipping it around the keeper. Outstanding goal. Did what they wanted to do in the first 25 minutes, just unable to put a ball in the back of the net. Here's Brandon Beeman going down the right flank early on in this match. It's headed on, and there's the goal! Paolo Jr., nearly 45 seconds in, and Madison scores the fastest goal in USL League One history. How about that for a start for the Mingos? Here's another look at it. The assist goes to Beeman, and the goal to Paolo Jr., his second goal in league play. What a moment for forward Madison, scoring the first goal inside of him. See what's in this last, about 11 plus minutes before halftime. Towards the end line, and there's another goal! J.C. Banks makes it two for forward Madison. And it comes at another big time. Here's another look at it. Paolo Jr. scored the last goal. This time he assists it. As J.C. Banks beats Morenci. Chance for forward Madison. They have numbers that they can get this right. Brandon Eaton taking it forward. The shot, the save, and the rebound by Don Smart. Madison are level. You can see it in the build up play. And Madison have tied it at one. So we take another look at it. Brandon Eaton just carrying it forward. We've seen those rebounds already tonight from Aviles. And this time, Don Smart was there and ready to pounce. It's nearly J.C. Banks for Madison, and it was nearly Ronaldo Demis with goal number two on the night. It's played ahead, here's Don Smart. Don Smart for forward Madison! the flock as he took it on top shelf and Madison lead 2-1 looks like there is a sub readying for North Texas here in just a moment played wide for Josiel Nunez Josiel Nunez back to his left Nunez up a hit and it's 3-1 to forward Madison Setting it all up. Josie Nunez putting it on his left. It's one back by the Mingos. It's 
playing ahead for J.C. Banks. Maybe he wants in on the goal scoring party. J.C. Banks, yes he does. And the backflip to move. It's full on. The Bingos are running wild in Madison. It was played forward. North Texas putting plenty of men forward. And J.C. Banks has two goals in just as many weeks. Manley plays it wide for Don Smart. Smart trying to get it over Silva. Tenorio, all he has to do is head it in and we are level. Danny Tenorio has leveled the match in the 81st. The super sub. His first USL League One goal, and it is a big one here in Toronto. The first time in USL League One play. It started from Manly up to Smart. Silva could not quite get two hands on it, and we are level at one late in this match. Madison. Nunez pushing up here, giveaway here. Tenorio top of the box over the Nunez. Don Smart into the box. The chance, the shot in the back of the net. Don Smart, the fan's choice for mid-season MVP of the league. And he's showing why here on the road, 1-0 to the Mingos here in the 16th. Such a, an unusual mistake, I guess. They would move up for a tie for sixth with FC Tucson with a win here today. Paolo Jr. sends it into the box. Headed on in the end, diving forward. Oliver White, his first appearance in a Madison uniform and a beautiful goal put on a platter by Paulo Jr. 2-0 forward Madison on the road as Tormenta on their way to their first home loss in 2019. Paulo Jr. making the most of this play. Beautiful ball, unmarked there is White and nothing Hara could do about that. Formation shift. It's been more of a facilitator. Beautiful through ball sent ahead. It's onside. Smart, the touch! And a goal for forward Madison FC. Don Smart, one of the very best in the league at doing just that, scoring goals. We are level at one. It's the Sparrow Health System's replay. Beautiful chip pass ahead. Don Smart does the rest. His sixth goal of the season came in, tied for third in USL League One goal scoring. He continues his ascent to try to equalize. Minskin did get a yellow card for moving his jersey. He'll trade that though. There's a cross, Cleveland, it's loose! And just like that, forward Madison levels at two. J.C. Banks with a stunner. Right place, right time. J.C. Banks gets his third of the year. Lock in tries to influence their hometown side here tonight. Tenorio takes right into the middle. Off the post and in! The first goal for Ford Madison. And it looks like it's the captain, Connor Tobin. 1-0 to the Flamingos. Take another look at it. It was Connor Tobin flying in. Right. Long diagonal ball again. We've seen that numerous times tonight. Here's Christian Diaz. Don Smart looking to find some space. Now inside, J.C. Banks. J.C. Banks gets around Herrera. It's the opening goal for forward Madison. And he goes right up to Herrera. the shoulders of forward Madison. Here it was again, great build up play. A good diagonal run from JC Banks and he's able to slot it home. Smart, some open room to run. That's the way he likes it. The former Indy 11 player. On the run, Paolo Jr. Filione off his line and it's a goal for Madison. 
a misplay by Philly Young trying to get the stop, but a piece of class by Paolo Jr. And it's one nothing to Madison. Great look from Don Smart as he'll have his fourth assist of the season and Madison up here on the road at Toronto for this offense as he struggled against Tobin and Almsburg here today. Paolo Jr. working against Muhammad, who's fighting back, working against Paolo Jr. He'll stay alive with the ball. The strike, back of the net. TFC team really wanting the call there as Muhammad took a tumble. But still the play raged on as Paulo Jr. finding a second in today's match, his brace. Putting Madison up on the road. See first minute. Domingo striking again. The great run and Muhammad still trying to get back against Paulo Jr. and Filione. Not able to stop that one as it's powered through in a sharp angle. Looked up for the whistle. Didn't come, and he took care of the opportunity. So now Toronto FC2 in deep trouble once again. His full season, all 18 appearances with Penn FC and the USL Championship. Manley through the traffic, skips there. Dorsey trying to save one. Oyama out to Bennett. Towards the box, puts a cross in there. Dangerous one, flicked on and in. Demon makes it four for, for Flamingos here in the 87th. And Madison out and running towards three points on the road today. Touched by Beeman as Bennett got it from Toyama. And right in the back of the net, not much Filion could do on that one. It's 4-1 to Madison making a statement today on the road. FC Tucson looking to come forward. Wyatt Omsberg eventually comes away with it. Here's JC Banks again for Josiel Nunez. Gets it wide for Don Smart. Don Smart towards the back post. Oh, what a goal from Don Smart. And forward Madison take the lead. Such a tight angle, but able to curl it into the side netting. Boy, the chances have been there. Maybe something else here for Paolo Jr. Paolo Jr. for Christian Diaz. Did he stay on side? He did. It's the opening goal for forward Madison. Banks to Paolo Jr. Thought that might have been a bit of a heavy touch. But Christian Diaz able to knock it in. As we get into the final five matches of the season for Tormenta and Madison. Ball into the box, opportunity coming! It's Paolo Jr. He might have taken the points of it, but it doesn't matter. It's 1-0 to forward Madison. Immediately holding that back. He came down hard on that lower back. Ball into the box, looking for Danny Tenorio, and he slots it home. Forward Madison, strike first. A road goal for the Flamingos, and Danny Tenorio is second of the season. Boom to work. The ball in from Josie L. Nunez. Ivan Magales lost track. J.C. Banks to swing it in. Towards the near post, takes a bounce in the box. Still there and it's in! The opening goal for Ford Madison. Every penalty kick this season they've given up. Here's Don Smart for Ford Madison, and he equalizes right before halftime. It is 1-1, and for Don Smart, that is his first goal since the last time these two teams played. On August 3rd, he's gone over a month and a half. Penalty kick goal right before halftime. It's now 1-1. Slotted through, making the run as Manley. His cross, got all the way through to the middle, left foot shot is struck home by J.C. Banks, and forward Madison takes a 1-0 lead. Banks with the flip. Beautiful pass slotted through. Manley's cross got all the way through. 